Wordle winners avoid these 10 common mistakes. Winning at Wordle is really a matter of mastering the odds, improving your odds, and not shooting yourself in the foot by making less than optimal choices. After all, you only have six chances to guess that five-letter word. Um, avoid the 10 tactics identified in this piece, and you'll be well on your way to Wordle success. If you sometimes get discouraged um, and are tempted not to finish, stick around until the end because we have several strategies, especially for those situations. And I know about those situations because I've spent more than my fair share there. Okay, so these tips are about improving your odds. Um, in this case, stuff mostly not to do um, so you don't reduce your, your chances of limiting. Okay, mistake number one, um, not picking the optimal word to start with. Um, I, I thought everyone knew this. I, I can't believe we're even talking about it, but when I see some of the stuff on Twitter about, oh, I start with this word or I start with that word, I'm looking and I'm, I'm rolling my head and I'm thinking, oh my God. So when it comes to that first word, um, there's a lot of stuff that you can do, um, just a few simple guidelines. We've got a, a video on it, a, a separate video, which we'll link to in the show notes below. And we also have um, a quick read book, uh, Wordle, the Rules, Strategy, and Expert Tips, um, available uh, online and uh, on your Kindle reader. Again, a, tip, uh, a link below. All right. Mistake number two, not having a strategy, not having a systemized approach to how you're going to handle this and just randomly picking five letter words out of the air. It's not going to work so well for you. Mistake number three, not focusing on several issues in one guess. Um, you might want to focus on the location of a letter that you already found that you know is in the word, you just don't know where it is, uh, finding new letters, finding new vowels, etc. You want to make each of your guesses work 100%. Um, you want to get full bang for your buck, so to speak. I should probably introduce myself at this point. I'm Mira Schaefer, founder of AP Now. In many of our other podcasts and videos, we share information about best practices to run um, a fraud-resistant, regulatory, compliant, efficient accounts payable function. But at least for the next few months, on Saturday mornings at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, we'll be talking about Wordle, both on YouTube and the AP Now podcast. Now back to what not to do. Mistake number four, this is kind of an interesting one, not sounding out the word if you have three consecutive letters or a consonant blend like PR or FR um, may or may not work, but you want to try it because, you know, your brain, this will put your brain into overdrive. And when you start, you know, with per, per, and for PR, for example, um, the word may um, jump into your head, something that you hadn't been thinking about. Now, mistake number five, it relates to that, and that is relying totally on sounding out the word when you have three consecutive letters or, or, or two, but like three. Sometimes um, you like you might have P-R-I, um, and you might be right. It might be the consonant blend, uh, but if you're not 100% sure of the location of the, um, the different letters, um, you try it, but don't, don't um, get married to it, so to speak. Okay. Mistake number six, not using your powers of deduction. Remember that old Sherlock Holmes story about the dog that didn't bark? Well, the same logic can be used when you're playing Wordle. Okay, let me give you a simple example. It's kind of an obvious one, or at least I think it's an obvious one. I hope that you'll agree. Um, let's say through your first choices, you've discovered that you don't have the vowels A, E, I, or O. Well, then it's really probably a good chance that um, you don't, that the vowel that you're going to need is U. So there's a really high chance, um, almost 100%, but yeah, I know there are a few words that don't have any vowels, they just have a Y. But um, so use your power of deduction. Um, that's kind of related to mistake number six, uh, mistake number seven. Sorry about that. Um, and that is picking Q as your letter if you don't already have a U showing. So don't start with a QU word if you haven't already knocked out the other vowels. Um, because 98% of the time you're just going to be wasting, wasting that choice because Q is not a very popular letter in the alphabet. Okay. Now, before we get 
at, get to what not to do when you think there's absolutely no way you can win and you're ready to throw your hands up in the air, I'd like you to invite you to subscribe. It's free, completely private, and you can unsubscribe at any time by and by ringing that bell next to the subscribe button on YouTube, you'll be notified when we post new content, which we do three times a week now. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, we post content related to the accounts payable function, and on Saturdays at 9 a.m., we'll have a new Wordle video. Okay. Mistake number eight, and I, I've been here, I can tell you, I'm speaking from personal experience, unfortunately, or well, fortunately, maybe, don't give up when it seems hopeless. Sometimes you'll be staring at, you know, the three, you'll have three letters, you'll even have three letters, and you'll be looking at it, and you'll go, there's no words there, that, that can't be, and um, you might be tempted to just close the game down and not play um, the rest of it don't stick with it. Um, because I can tell you that right after you make that determination, okay, I'm going to stick with it, something will pop up in your brain. Um, and you, you know, don't give up, you, you've got nothing to lose by trying. Okay, mistake number nine, don't get married to one particular solution. Let's say you've decided uh, you have a PR and you decide that it, the word is going to start with PR. Um, and um, even though you haven't work that out, you just deduce that. And you keep going on and on and on. And you can't find, you can't come up with a word. Um, you're getting nowhere. Well, what you might want to do then is go in a completely different direction. Put aside that word that you've been focused on and pick another word with letters that um, you haven't selected yet that might be in your solution. And sometimes by taking that little detour, you will ultimately come up with the right word. Okay, mistake number 10, and I have to admit, I've been down this road, but, um, well, you'll listen and you'll hear. Okay, so let's say you have three three letters. It usually happens to me with three letters, but it could happen with four. And you can't come up with the right word. Um, and, and so um, in my case, um, I had T-A-N um, in, the, in the first three, three spots, and I had decided... Um, that the odds were strong that there was a Y in the last spot. So T-A-N something Y. And you know, I, I went in my mind through the alphabet and I wasn't coming up with anything. It, nothing seemed to make sense. The only thing that sounded like a word to me was tangy, T-A-N-G-Y. And I'm going to be honest here. I think I, I have a good, pretty good vocabulary, but I'd never heard that word before. And I'm like, well, that's not a word. Well, if you come up and you're in that situation, put it in, because guess what? If it's not a word, Wordle won't let you use it. So you've lost nothing. And then if it is, um, it might be the right solution. And in this case, for me, it was tangy was the word. So then I improved my vocabulary by looking it up. And it means having a strong, piquant flavor or smell, like a tangy salad. So, well, that makes sense. Okay. So, you know, this whole Wordle craze has got me thinking about building social media presence. And I was lucky enough recently to be able to chat with the Twitter goddess um, about these issues and how to build your own uh, social media presence. And we did that in episode 121. Links to this, as well as our Wordle playlist, because now we have a few of these uh, videos, um, are in the show notes below. And on YouTube, a link will appear momentarily to the to the left on both of them, for both of them. As always, your comments, your thumbs up, your subscribes, and uh, your and your shares are always appreciate appreciated. Good luck wordling.